Hello and welcome to my Farming Simulator 2013 video overview. Today I'm going to be going through a quick overview of how to start and manage your farm in Farming Simulator 2013. First off, as you can see I already have a game going. Um, we'll get to that game later. First off though, you're going to want to start a new game. When you start a new game, you're going to get three different options. Normal, easy, or hard. Easy is um, you start off with a very low bank loan and complete missions will return more money. Now as this will be something new from those of you from Farby Simulator 2011, the game actually you start out with a bank loan and missions pop up from time to time. So we're just going to go with normal. We only have one map installed so we'll click that one and the game is going to load and as soon as it's done loading the start button will pop up. Now here we are on our new farm and if you just give me a second I am going to adjust my mouse I think. Okay and we're back. As you can see you start out with about six hundred dollars and it, or six thousand dollars and as you can see it already decreased. Yes I'm going to open the finances tab with the insert key. As you can see I have a finance finances screen. This is something new from Farming Sim, Farming Sim 2011. As you can see here, we actually have to pay for our vehicles and keep them running. We have property maintenance. We pay our hirelings. We have income and construction expenses. We even have a bank loan of uh, $100,000 that we will have to repay to stop having it take money from our account. So let's get right to managing your finances. Now I'm going to use the tab key. I'm going to ignore this. This just tells me where to go. I'm going to show you where you can get your first vehicles. As you can see down here, I can see a combine already. There is a planted field of wheat already ready to go. And here's where you get your first vehicles. Before we start running around with the vehicles, though, you're going to want to sell some of them. Because in Farming Simulator 2013, you don't need everything it gives you. Like these three tractors. We don't need three tractors. In fact, I'm just going to keep this red one here. Um, I'm going to sell this old junker. And this, because it has, it has more power than the red one. But it costs a lot more to keep up and running. So I'm going to show you how to get to the store. We'll hop in with the E key and bring up our, our little PD... Uh, PDA with the I key and 9 will show out the map. Now the store is where that little shopping cart is right there above me. Another way you can see the map is by hitting the M key. Oh wait, hey, it's not the M key. I'm sorry. The escape key. Now we're back in the loading screen area. If we go up here and go to map views, we can see um, the status of all the fields. Here's number 16, the one that has the wheat in it. It's ready to harvest, as you can see. I can go over here. There are different types. There is wheat in there. See, it's yellow. And uh, that just goes back to the growth. Oh, here's something else. In Farming Simulator 2013, we have two new um, crops, potatoes and sugar beets. Here's the vehicle section where all our vehicles are. As you can see, I have a whole bunch right here. Uh, there's one up here, one over here, and one over here. Now these are in different areas spread out through the map, and we are going to get rid of those. Um, I recommend getting rid of them because all they're going to do is eat up your money in vehicle costs, running costs. They cost about $8 a day to keep running, these little old junkers. It's not much, but it that's all adds up to wasted money. And you can get quite a bit of money starting right at the beginning by selling them. Now if we go over here, I'm going to set the time scale down to real time, and I'm going to turn missions off. I'm also going to turn, you can turn your plant growth times fast and slow. I'm going to turn it to slow because I am going, that's the way I like to do it. I don't want my crops. There's two new uh, crop settings, um, not settings, there's two new crop um, what am I thinking of? States. There's two new crop states. Um, if you do not harvest your crop within a certain amount of time, it will go bad, and you will not get a very good harvest from it. Now, as I'm driving around without explaining anything, 
I just hopped in this tractor with the E key. F will turn on the lights, the back lights, and then turn them off. If I hit the home key, it'll turn on the work light, which is actually nothing, as far as I can tell. Now, I'm going to drive this over to the shop, and I'm actually going to drive this one so I can show you how easy it is to get to the, to the shop, because once I'm there, I'm going to show you a new way to sell your vehicles. I could just bring up the store and sell them all, all at once, but I have the spare time right now, so I'm going to just drive this over since it's full of gas. And here's the shop. This is where you pick up all your new vehicles when you purchase them. Now, if you drive any vehicle, tool, or implement into this box right here, then get out and walk over to this icon, which is the direct sell icon. As you can see up in the top left, I can sell this vehicle directly. I can sell this for $39,000. Now, if I go into my P key and bring up the menu right here, as you can see, I could sell it down here for $32,500. By actually driving it to the store and directly selling it, I get about 20% more for my trade-in. And now, to get back to my farm, I'm just going to hit the tab key, and look, I jumped to the other vehicle. Now I'm going to jump to this one, and I will be selling this one as well. Now I'm going to jump over to another, here's the combine. Now here is another vehicle uh, that's out on the map. We are currently um, in the vehicle right here. This is by the cow pen. The cow pen has been enhanced quite a bit. Um, there's new tools for feeding mixed feed grain, and there is a trough for grass. This is where you get your manure, and a silage uh, bunker. We'll get to silage in uh, probably my next video, because I enjoy doing stuff with silage, but it's, it's pretty interesting. Now I'm going to take some time and sell all of these vehicles. Actually, I'm going to jump to this one. This one, this one, that one. There's the cow pen again. Here is the sheep pen. And here is, where are we? Ah, we are at the farm supply store. Here is on the map, the farm supply store is up here at the top. It has a supply of seeds so you can refill your sewing equipment. You can sell eggs here because there is a chicken pen on your farm. You can get fertilizer and basically everything you need to, you know, manage the fields up here um, remotely. And you can also get gas, visit your ATM finances, sell repay your bank loan, and over here you can sell your crops. Now I will be right back as soon as I finish selling all these vehicles. On a quick note here, as you can see, this car behind me is actually faster than me on this vehicle. It is very quite slow. This is also why I'm selling them all. They are quite slow. I'm only going 13 miles per hour. Now, I'm at the fun at my farm, and while I'm here, I'm going to pick up this plow. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. I'm going to have to drop that. Uh, apparently, we're not going to be selling that right now. And here is a little side note for those of you that are less uh, concerned about reality and physics. Um, if you really want to get somewhere fast on a farming sim, just drive over a hill. Your tractor will more than likely land on its wheels. <laughs> just a quick little time saver for some of you out there. And I'm back, everyone. I have finished driving the last of these old junker trailers to the tractors to the store. And as you can see, I get about $9,000 for each one a pop. Now, I'm jumping back to the farm and going to take this nice red tractor over here. I'm going to... Actually, I'm just going to pick up this one here. If I, I'm going to pick up this front weight by hitting the Q key. Then I'm going to drive over here, and we're going to pick up this plow again. Aha! See? 
No more of that tipping problem. Now I'm just going to drive both of these over to the store. And here we are at the store. Now I'm just going to drive up here to the box. First off, I'm going to put the weight in. Oop. Yep, I dropped the wrong thing. I'm going to hit the G key, the switch. In the lower left, as you can see, the box that's highlighted is the current tool I have selected. I'm going to highlight the front weight and press the Q key. And that'll drop the weight in the box. Then I'm going to drop out of the tractor and sell the weight. Now I'm going to get back in the tractor and put the plow in. As you can see, it's a little tippy without the weight on the front because I was not turning. So I'm going to drop that there. Back out of here. And then we'll get this weight so this plow sold, because I really don't need it. Whoa, oh, wrong button. Yes, sell the plow. Now, as you can see, I have about $93,000 floating around. That's a decent amount of change at this point in the game. Now, while I'm over here, you have two options to go from, as far as my opinion, you have two options to go from this point. You can either A, purchase a new plow, a, a new field with your, you actually have to buy your fields now, so you can actually purchase a new field with this newfound income, or, since you're at the store, you can consider spying a new piece of equipment. And here's all your tractors. As you can see, the current one we have right now, the only tractor I have left, is the same Argon 375. I don't know how to pronounce it. It might be same-y. This is, uh, it has, costs about $70 a day and puts out about 75 horsepower. That's not great, and it's kind of expensive. The one tractor I recommend for starting off is this Linder Geotrack. As you can see, from here on, things just kind of get um, more expensive. This is about $80 a day with 102 horsepower. It's a nice tractor um, for starting out. Um, but as you can see, the one I sold, uh, I do not have to pronounce that, the 6135A, its maintenance was $270 a day. It had a lot of horsepower, but its maintenance ratio is killing you at that point. So I just recommend selling it right away. You really don't need need it to begin. No, oh, excuse me, to start off the game with. But actually, what I'm thinking about buying is nothing to har the harvester or anything like that. But actually, a tipper. The only tipper we have right now is the Crone Ermsland. It has about 500 and uh, 5,700 liters of volume costs about eight dollars a day and can transport all my crops. Now if I go up one more, as you can see my volume has more than tripled in carrying capacity for not that much extra. So I'm going to actually show, just sell this in the store. I'm not going to drag it over here. I'm just going to sell it in the store and buy this new tipper, which is basically a trailer. The trailer is what you use to transport your crops around. And it's, as you can sell, see, it's quite a big trailer. So we'll just hook it up and drive it over to the farm. Now, here we are at the farm. I am going to just drop this tipper. Well, actually, no, I'm going to be using it pretty much right away. But first thing I know, I'm going to drop the tipper right there. Come over here and pick up this weight on the front of the tractor. Now I'm going to go pick the tipper back up. <laughs> now, the first thing I'm going to be doing is I have a field full of ready-to-harvest wheat over here. And I want to take care of it. Now, another reason why I recommend getting a tipper is on normal and easy mode, you start with quite a significant stockpile of um, crops and in your inven in your possession. And we can see that. Here's the forecast in the PDA. Um, and here is the prices for the crops. Now, currently, wheat is going for 567 at the 
farm shop. And I'm not sure if that's per liter. I don't think it is. I haven't quite figured that out yet. But if I hit 9, you can see all the different places. There's the inn in the mill, the port, and there is no current great demand. Every so often, the different places you can take your crops to will detect uh, the great demand for the for a certain crop and offer increased prices for that crop. Um, if I hit again, here's our finance table from the PDA. And here is our current storage. We currently have about 8,000 units of each crop in storage. And if I hit 9 again, um, here's our statistics. Um, I have currently driven uh, 3 miles and I have sold all those crops uh, all those tractors and I'm at this point in about 27 minutes. This is the cow screen, the sheep screen, and the chicken screen. I own one chicken, it's a rooster, and it crows a lot. And back to the statistics. Now, basically how to harvest your fields is we're just gonna hop in the thing here, the, the, the combine, pick up the header, and you hit the B key to turn it on. And the 2 key to drive forward. And as you harvest, you can see the uh, wheat symbol popped up over there. The combine will harvest the wheat and spit out straw behind it. Wheat and barley will put out straw from the combines when you harvest them. And you can use the straw later. In later videos, I will be using this straw to show you what you can do with it. In fact, I may do that next, because in my other video I have a field of barley ready to go. So I may harvest that up real quick and quickly record a video on how to bale and what to do with your bales when you're done with them. Now in Farming Simulator 2011, baling was an utter pain in that you actually had to lift the bales up with a front-loading attachment into a barn. And over here, that little brown barn over there is a bale selling barn. You can actually, oh, I'm driving off the edge here. Um, you can actually just sell your ba bales right at the farm by pushing them into that barn. So it's a lot simpler that way. You still need a front loading attachment really to handle the bales properly around the farm, even in this setting. Um, but there's some things that can easily make baling uh, less of a hassle. Now I'm gonna quickly drive over here. Now we are done. I have about 600 units of seed in of uh, crop in the combine right now. And to unload that, I need to unload it into a tipper. So I'm just going to press the B key. To, oh, not the B key. The O key will put out the pipe. And it's quite a snug little fit over this other tipper. Um, and that's why I'm driving the combine, not the tractor. But I'm just going to put the corner of the pipe over the edge of the tipper, and it'll empty into the tipper. And that's it for harvesting your fields. And that's about it for this video. Um, after you're done harvesting this field, um, you'll want to sell your produce um, using your newfound tipper and I will quickly show you where you do that. We currently have, you know, it's not a lot. 600 units. Not a lot in the tipper at all. Um, but from here you're gonna drive over here through your farm. See those silos over there? This is where you store your crops for later purchase or later selling. These two bunkers here are for potatoes and sugar beets. Then you have corn. Uh, the little spindly looking thing, that is canola. This one here is barley, and then there's wheat. And this is where you unload tippers into your uh, farm. We'll push to fold the tipper forward until we get the unload key to unload with the queue. And it'll just dump the stuff up, and that's it. Now if I want to sell, let's go sell, let's say, um, I want to go sell the corn. To sell the corn, I'm just going to take the tipper, drive it under the silo, 
and it'll fill up with corn from the silo. And it'll fill up with everything I have in stock. Now, to, re to sell it, I would just sell, drive over to a place to sell it to. Let's see. Where, where is that? Uh, let's see. Who, who has the best price for corn? Corn is currently going for... Ah, the first page. Uh, about 520 at the farm yard, freight yard. And 521 at the farm shop. That's not that big of a thing. Let's see. Freight yard is right here. And the farm shop is right here. The inn is right here. There's a milk plant. I think it's right here. Um, there's a golf course over here where you can get missions from. It looks like a hippie community camping ground over here. Here is the biogas plant, which we will cover in a later video. This is the farm shop and the town. Uh, not the farm shop. This is the imp the uh, uh, vehicle shop. And over here is the port. And I think that's all of them. Uh, no, wait. Right here, this is the mill. It is uh, basically a silo. You've probably seen them in your town. It's like a giant grain silo. Then over here is the stringery, which deals with the sheep. Which the sheep pasture is right here. The uh, cow pasture is right here. As you can see, the rooster is crowing in the background. And then your chicken, your chicken farm, your chicken coop is actually right there. To uh, collect chickens, when you buy chickens, you will have to immediately go into the shop, the little pen here, and you don't have to feed them or anything. You just pay for their upkeep and pick up the eggs and sell them. And that's it. So I'm going to drive this... Uh, which one? I'm not going to drive all the way to the the, the, um, to the freight yard. I'm just going to sell this at the fridge, at the farm shop. So I will be back when I reach it to the... when I get to the farm shop. And here we are at the farm shop. It hasn't been very long because I took a shortcut over that hill there. <laughs> now I'm just going to drive up over to the grate and sell this corn. As you can see, my money is going up. Quite not a lot for the amount I for the amount I put in there. So I think the price you see is for every thousand units. Um, which makes sense, I think. I'm not quite sure. Now I'm going to have to drive all the way back to the farm. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to have a little conversation. Normally, I would not have salt driven all the way over here just to sell the corn. Um, normally, what I would be doing right now is after I'd be harvesting that field, I'd harvest that field and then uh, cultivate and plant a new field, maybe purchase one of the other smaller fields over by the farm and do that too, and, and make that field ready too. And then while I'm waiting for the stuff to grow, I would be driving around and selling my crops to the different stores. Because it does take quite a while for your crops to grow. Especially on slow. That's why at the beginning of the game I usually... If you want the real challenge, you set your time too slow. And your time to whatever time you want. And it's going to take a while for your crops to grow. And all the while, while your crops are growing, you're not making money at this point in the game. And the, the, the loan fees and the vehicle costs per day can be quite, quite a challenge to watch out for and plan ahead for. And we're already back at the farm. So I'm going to quickly, um, before this video is over, I'm going to quickly harvest up that field. And then, we will f and then I will show you what you do. Um, well, no. Yeah, I'll show you basically what you should do from there. And we'll be, I'll be right back when I'm ready to continue. And welcome back. At this point, I have currently emptied the tipper from harvesting the field. It's all harvested. I put the combine away in the building over there. You can see, you can see it through the windows. Um, putting it in the building I don't think does anything. Um, but now, I have an empty field. 
that I am going, I can do something with. When I need it, oh, oh I'm pushing it around. <laughs> I'm just being pushy today. Um, what I need to do now is to pick up this uh, cultivator here, which is what you need to do to the field before you can plant new seeds. You need to cultivate the field. Now, in real life, you'd probably have to feed, uh, plow the field, um, plow all that straw underneath the field uh, with a plow, and then you could put your fertilizer down, uh, cultivate it, sow it, and there you go, and it would start growing. Um, but I only have a cultivator, because in this game, all you have to do is cultivate your field. And it'll do the rest. So I'm just going to drive into the field here. Press the V key to lower the cultivator. Oh, oh. See, I had the wrong tool selection. I lowered the front end. And I dropped it. Uh, G key. There we go. Now I lower the cultivator. Now I'm going to have to hit the 2 key. And that will make my tractor drive forward. But I'm going too fast. See, the game gave me a warning. I drove too fast. I can't cultivate at that speed, so I have to use the uh, speed of 1 to cultivate. And this cultivator is tiny. It's only as big as my tractor. And there's very, very upgrade, upgraded versions of this that are a lot wider. But you need a bigger, better tractor to use that. There I am at the end. As you can see, it's getting rid of the straw as I cultivate the field. And the reason why I'm doing this now is because, as you can see, this field behind me is already cultivated. So when I purchase a new field, it's all I need to do is start seeding it. So once I'm done cultivating, we will just figure out what we're going to do next. And I will be back when I'm done. Now, I did just realize something that I think I should probably talk about. You're probably wondering, Stellar, why are you just cultivating all that all that uh, lovely straw into your field and just getting rid of it for no value to you? Uh, well, that's because... <coughs> sorry. The uh, straw right now, um, I could bale it or pick it up with a certain type of trailer and actually use it for something. But right now, those things would basically smallest trailer to do that with would probably cost about as much as I have. And I have other plans for that money. And just to get a baler alone and a front loader would cost at least $20,000, $200,000 minimum. Um, and that's to buy the baler and the front loader at the cheapest way possible. Um, which would, I'd have to buy a front loader and the front loading attachment to move the bales around. I'd also have to buy a baler um, to to uh, bale this uh, straw into bales. And then the front loader, I could use the front loader to just pick them up out of the field and put them in the shed over there and sell them. And that would be the easiest way to get to do something and get some value out of this straw. But that would cost quite a pretty penny right now and I just can't do it, so I'm just going to have to get rid of it. And there you have it. A uh, fully cultivated and ready to go field. Uh, I think that's going to be about it for this video. As you can see, I've been playing for about an hour and 12 minutes. It hasn't been that long for you guys, I know it, but it's a long time for me, and I think I've had enough of this for today. In the next video, I will be going over uh, purchasing fields, possibly. Um, what to do after you've sown the field. Uh, tip, 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 tip. And. How to increase the yield of your fields, which is quite vital, um, especially in the early stages of the game. Um, but here, uh, let's have a quick run around the farm, real quick. Over here you see a little phone. This is the helpline. You have the hint line. If you want to ask questions, it has a set limit of hints, which I will get out and cycle through real quick. Uh, and we just walk over to the thing and call the helpline has 12 hits. Uh, these are the different hits. The helpline, buying fields, field auctions, great demand, finances, PDA, vehicle shop, selling specific vehicles and tools, 
what do I use for what prices of commodities, missions, mixer wagons. Now, most of these I've covered in this video, a lot I will be covering in my videos, so I'm not going to go through the hints. But they will, it's helpful for those of you if you forget and don't want to go through watching my videos. Now, as I said, over here is where you can sell your bales. This blue tank here is for fertilizer. You fill up your fertilizer and your sprayers at that tank. Here is a cedar. Um, this red tank over here with the question mark floating around it is the fuel tank. Uh, and then I told you about the bunkers, the chickens, the silos, and over here, all the way over here by this building is where you pick up seeds for your sowers and potato planters. As you can see, there's some sun taters right here. Then you have your corn, your wheat, your canola, barley. There is no uh, visible thing for uh, sugar beets, but you can plant them. And that's about it for this video. I will see you next time where we will be going over how to uh, purchase fields and increase your yields. See you then.